Welcome to the captivating world of the 1935 film Roberta. As we delve into this classic, consider this. Have you ever encountered a movie that left an indelible mark on your life, prompting reflection on personal growth and inspiration? Roberta might just be that timeless piece of cinema for many. Before we explore the nuances of this cinematic gem, think about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Has Roberta woven itself into the fabric of your life? becoming a source of inspiration or nostalgia. We invite you to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about Roberta. This 1935 film, directed by William A. Sater, is a musical romantic comedy that not only entertained audiences of its time but continues to charm viewers today. Set against the backdrop of Parisian elegance and the world of fashion, the movie unfolds with a delightful narrative that seamlessly blends romance, humor, and music. Did you know that Roberta boasts a stellar cast, featuring Irene Dunn and Fred Astaire, whose on-screen chemistry adds a layer of enchantment to the storyline? The film's soundtrack, composed by Jerome Kern with lyrics by Dorothy Fields, contributes to its enduring appeal. As we explore the facets of Roberta, we invite you to share your thoughts. Have you ever found inspiration in unexpected places, perhaps through the lens of a classic film? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, have you ever been moved or inspired by Roberta? Share your experiences and let's embark on this cinematic journey together. Your stories add depth to the tapestry of shared human experiences, connecting us through the magic of storytelling. Roberta, a classic 1935 musical film, directed by William A. Sater, unfolds a captivating narrative set against the backdrop of glamorous Parisian fashion and romance. Adapted from the Broadway musical of the same name, the movie weaves together the lives of diverse characters, including the enchanting heroine, Stephanie, and the dashing Countess Sharwenka. The story takes an unexpected turn as Stephanie becomes entangled in the world of haute couture, managing a chic fashion house with the help of her dapper friend John Kent. What ensues is a delightful blend of romance, comedy, and music, enriched by Jerome Kern's memorable score. The film not only showcases the undeniable chemistry between its leads, but also serves as a visual feast with its opulent costume designs and intricate dance sequences. Irene Dunn's stellar performance adds depth to the character of Stephanie, while Ginger Rogers brings her trademark charm to the role of the Countess. Roberta leaves an indelible mark on the era's cinematic landscape, noted for its stylish cinematography and the seamless integration of song and dance into the storyline. This cinematic gem has endured the test of time, contributing to the golden age of Hollywood musicals and leaving an indelible imprint on popular culture. Its legacy lives on through the enduring appeal of its music and the timeless elegance captured on the silver screen, cementing Roberta as a classic in the annals of film history. Ginger Rogers' distinctive accent in the 1935 movie Roberta pays homage to the Polish-born actress Lida Roberty, who originally portrayed the role on Broadway. This choice adds a layer of authenticity to Roger's character, infusing the film with a subtle nod to its theatrical origins. The deliberate incorporation of this linguistic detail showcases the filmmaker's attention to historical nuances, bridging the transition from stage to screen seamlessly. In a notable scene set to the tune of I Want Dance, Rogers sings to Fred Astaire, referencing their previous collaboration in The Gay Divorcee. The song becomes a charming intertextual moment, capturing the chemistry between the two stars and offering a delightful connection for audiences familiar with their earlier work. The incorporation of this playful reference enhances the film's entertainment value, creating a sense of continuity for fans of Rogers and Astaire. Beyond the well-known leads, Roberta also marks the debut of Lorraine Dessart, introducing her to the cinematic landscape. Dessart's presence adds a fresh dynamic to the film, contributing to its overall appeal. This debut becomes a pivotal point in the movie's narrative, showcasing the emergence of new talent in the entertainment industry during the 1930s. As the film unfolds against the backdrop of Parisian fashion and romance, these details Roger's homage, the intertextual nod to the gay divorcee, and Dessart's debut had depth to the viewing experience. Roberta's enduring legacy is not only in its central narrative, but also in the subtleties that elevate it beyond a mere musical. It stands as a testament to the meticulous craftsmanship that went into bringing Broadway to Hollywood, 
leaving an indelible mark on the golden age of cinema. In a strategic move, RKO producer Pandro S. Berman made a bold decision to secure the rights to Roberta, a Broadway hit for the 1935 film adaptation. This gamble proved lucrative, netting the studio $770,000 and marking RKO's first annual profit since 1930. Berman's insistence on acquiring the rights underscored the significance of the project, setting the stage for the success that followed. The film not only resonated with audiences, but also played a pivotal role in revitalizing RKO's financial standing during a challenging period. This calculated risk demonstrated the power of a well-executed adaptation, solidifying Roberta as a cornerstone in RKO's cinematic history. Lucille Ball, later known for her iconic role in I Love Lucy, made an uncredited appearance as a fashion model in the 1935 film Roberta. Interestingly, this film holds a connection to the later success of Lucille Ball. She and Daisy Arnaz would go on to purchase RKO, the studio behind Roberta, renaming it to Zillow Studios during the height of their fame. This seemingly minor role in Roberta played a part in the larger narrative of Lucille Ball's career and the history of the studio. The film also marks the final appearance of Zena Savai and serves as the debut for Margaret McChrystal, adding layers of significance to the movie's historical context. These lesser-known facts about the cast members contribute to the broader story of Roberta, making it not only a classic musical but also a noteworthy piece in the cinematic puzzle of the 1930s. The film's impact extends beyond its on-screen narrative, influencing the trajectory of Hollywood and the careers of its performers. Lucille Ball, known for her later iconic role in I Love Lucy, made a noteworthy transition in her career through a brief, uncredited appearance in the 1935 film Roberta. Initially part of the Goldwyn Girls at Samuel Goldwyn Studios, Ball seized an opportunity at RKO when they sought models with experience at Bergdorf Goodman in New York City. Despite not having a formal connection with Bergdorf, she secured a role in the film based on her participation in a fashion show there. This move marked a pivotal moment in Ball's journey, setting the stage for her future success in Hollywood and her eventual ownership of RKO, now known as Dazillu Studios, with Daisy Arnaz. This lesser-known fact about Lucille Ball adds a fascinating layer to the historical context of Roberta, showcasing the unexpected paths taken by individuals in the entertainment industry. The film's enduring impact is further highlighted by an intriguing historical detail. When MGM decided to produce the Technicolor remake Lovely to Look at in 1952, based on Roberta, they acquired the prints and negatives of the original film. In a strategic move, MGM ceased further distribution of the 1935 Roberta to avoid competition with the remake's box office potential. The original film remained out of sight for decades, resurfacing only in the mid-1970s, after the 1952 remake had completed its theatrical run and television broadcasts. This unique situation positions Roberta as a cinematic gem with a complex history, contributing to the nostalgia boom that followed in the wake of that's entertainment. Adding another layer to the film's allure is the intriguing anecdote surrounding Irene Dunn's tiara. Despite claims suggesting the tiara featured real emeralds, a closer examination reveals otherwise. Eugene Joseph, named as the jeweler, provided costume jewelry rather than authentic gemstones. The alleged use of real emeralds becomes implausible, considering the film's black and white format where such details would go unnoticed. This insight into the production's choices offers a glimpse into the meticulous decisions made behind the scenes, reinforcing the craftsmanship that went into bringing Roberta to the silver screen. In conclusion, the 1935 movie Roberta transcends its status as a classic musical, weaving together stories of Hollywood legends like Lucille Ball, navigating unique distribution challenges, and even delving into the intricacies of costume design. These lesser-known facets contribute to the film's rich tapestry, making it a timeless piece in the cinematic puzzle of the 1930s. As the curtains draw to a close on our journey through the enchanting world of the 1935 classic, Roberta, I invite you to linger a moment in the afterglow of this cinematic masterpiece. Like a vintage melody that echoes through time, Roberta has woven itself into the tapestry of our cultural memory. Its characters, its music, its very essence, have left an indelible mark on the canvas of film history. 
Now, dear reader, take a pause. Let the sepia-toned images and the symphony of that bygone era linger in the corridors of your mind. What chord did Roberta strike within you? Did its romantic allure tug at the strings of your own heart? Did its timeless elegance transport you to an era where glamour and grace danced hand in hand? Perhaps, amid the shadows of nostalgia, you discovered a kinship with the characters that transcends the silver screen. In this cinematic rendezvous, I encourage you to reflect on the nuances of your personal connection with Roberta. What scenes sparked a gentle smile, or perhaps a tear? Which character mirrored facets of your own journey? Share your cherished memories, your poignant revelations, and the threads that connect your story with this cinematic gem. Let the dialogue extend beyond the frame, as we collectively celebrate the enduring magic of Roberta. As the credits roll and we bid adieu to the world of Roberta, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for sharing this cinematic sojourn. Your thoughts, your memories, your reflections, the enrich the narrative of this timeless classic. Thank you for allowing the echoes of the past to resonate in your present. Until we meet again in the realms of shared nostalgia and timeless tales, stay enchanted, stay connected. With appreciation, your cinematic companion.